Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to create a payroll entry in ERP Next. So payroll entries are used to record the compensation that are paid to an employee. So why should you use payroll entry? So basically payroll entry enables the bulk processing of payroll as well as it also allows you to create a multiple salary slip. Now for example, I'll go to the ERP Next desk and if you see the way we were creating salary slip in previous video, it was either by going into the salary slip list like if I go into the salary slip list and I will select a new salary slip. So this way it was only creating a salary slip for one employee, like whoever employee I select, for them the salary slip was being created. And the another way was by going into the employee list over here. Um, and over here I'll go to the, I'll select Alex. And you can see that this was one way to create a salary slip. So but if you use a payroll it is like you can create a multiple salary salary slip at once so what i'll do is i'll select the payroll entry over here and i will select a new payroll entry so let's select a new payroll entry okay and uh, you will select the month pay payroll frequency let so let's say it is monthly and select the payroll PayPal account so i will select this one and let's say I will select the designation. So consider that I am selecting all the employees on the basis of their designation. So all the all the all the employee whose uh, designation is accountant, all of them will be uh, fetched using the get employee button, which we'll see in just a few minutes. Let me enter the cost center also. And if we select this option, that means what will happen is that the em employee's attendance will be validated. So if the employee's attendance is not marked, what will happen is that you need to mark it before it will give you a, uh, a prompt over here. So let me save it and then I'll, I'll show you. So once it is saved, we get this get employees button. So what will happen is all the employees whose designation is accounted, all of them will be fetched over here. And for them, the salary slip will be created. So I will press this button and if you see I will so I got the four employees over here. Now one thing to note here is this, that there is no uh, compulsion regarding regarding the salary structure to be same. So here if you see like uh, two or uh, one this one this one and this one. So all of them have a one sam salary structure and the Alex is having a different salary structure over here. So it having a different salary structure does not affect the salary slip creation through payroll entry. So what I'll do is I will, if I select this validate attendance, if I do this, you can see that I got this employees to mark attendance. Basically, it will remind you that, okay, these are the, these employees attendance uh, you need to mark. So let's say I'm not doing that for now. And if you have a salary slip, which is based on a timesheet, that is a salary structure based on, and you can select this option over here. And let's save it. And let me just select on the create salary slips button over here. So if I go into the salary slip list, you can see that the four salary slips are now created. This one, if you see, and here you can see that all of them are having a different salary structure also. Like, let me select this one. Alex is having this salary structure. And let me select the other one that Michelle is having salary structure based on general components so for them now since I've not validated the attendance the payment all the payment days are included over here and also this these are all coming from the income tax lab that we have seen in the previous video and also all of the salaries are different because of the um, because of the base component in their salary structure assignment so I hope all of this is very clear to you so what happens is after you have submitted the salary slip, like let's say I will do this submit salary slip. So what you can see that this is written over here that this will submit the salary slips and create a journal entry. So do you want to proceed? So let's say yes. So now the salary slip has been submitted for this particular period. And what you can do is you can make a journal entry from here also and you can make it from here also. So let's say I'm doing make bank entry. So you need to ma add the payment account and all of that details for that. So consider that I'm selecting this and let's update it. And let me just make a bank entry over here. So if you see, okay, this, so one journal entry is created for the total, the total amount. 
based on this one, like based on the four salary slips, one journal entry has been created for this particular payroll entry. So I hope this, uh, this was very clear to you regarding what is payroll entry and why do we need it in the first place. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.